Buddy, you sound good. You're okay out here. Okay, good. Do a tune that was written by Hoagie Carmichael many, many years ago. It's a lovely thing called Georgia on my mind.
Thank you. Yes. Very I've good. I've been Jim. playing three weeks. <laughs> Jim is one of the top uh, commanding players in the field, and uh, of course, a great chance. As a matter of fact, Bob and I saw him out in the field the other day. Look <laughs> <laughs> at those pros the way, you know how that is. No, actually, Jim Lowen, uh, we, about time we, uh, we did introduce ourselves, uh, didn't we? No. Okay, yeah. yeah. My name is James Lowen. Indianapolis, Indiana, Mr. James Lowen. Yeah. 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 All right, thanks. If you spell my name backwards, it's C-Maj Namho. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Camille Bob. Oh, that's my spine backwards. Over here, ladies and gentlemen, playing the harmonetta, one of the more difficult of all harmonicas to play, and an expert and world renowned, really truly, on the, on the harmonetta harmonica, Bob Herman. <laughs> <From Indianapolis. laughs> Bob, that's a very difficult harmonica to play the harmonetta. It has all the buttons on the top. You have to manufacture your own chords by pushing the correct buttons up there. Bob practices a lot while he's driving down Highway 65. The speed limit is about 70 miles an hour there. But you know, he practices to save time in a car. Uh, last week he was driving down 65 with the harmonetta. He was practicing. He was listen he's had a phone call at the same time while he was practicing. <laughs> A lady came along, she passed him right up, passed him right up real, real fast. She must have been going 70, she must have been going 90. He almost knocked the beer off of this dashboard, you know. <laughs> no, uh, no volume on that. Can we get some volume on here without any problem? It's there. It's there. We are going to present Bob at this time, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get some volume on this microphone. Is it working, Bob? Test one, two. Yep. Yep. Test three, four. <laughs> Test seven, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Bob is going to be playing another harmonica at this time. A very special harmonica built especially for the star. <laughs> World's tiniest harmonica, four holes, eight notes. You can play a lot of songs on that little beauty. If you don't, inhale. <laughs> Great harmonica. <laughs> oh, they bothered that one, I think. Um, the only instrument that was played in outer space by Walter Schirau when he was orbiting the Earth, he was playing jingle bells on a little peewee harmonica like that. Yeah. Bob is going to play a Beatles song on his harmonica. This is called Obla Di Obla Da. Oh. And he's getting his Obla Di
It's called How High the Moon, and we're going to feature Bob playing his little baby harmonica over there. Do you ever shave with that thing? Oh, yeah, okay. All right. All right, but anyway, this is a thing called How High the Moon. And this chauffeur 
was driving her home. So we parked the car, she gets out and she goes upstairs. And she calls in down on the intercom, she says, Jeeves, come up to my room. Okay. So he goes up to her room and she says, I want you to take off my dress. So he takes off her dress. I want you to take off my slip. So he takes off her slip. All my underclothes. Okay. And my shoes. Are you getting a good picture here, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, the next time I catch you wearing my clothes, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have one of the best league players around, really. Jimmy has done a marvelous job. Uh, first of all, he plays left-handed, so he plays it backwards. You know, he plays it with his left hand, and he's the one that taught me how to play the harmonica because it was like looking in the mirror, see? Because I'm right-handed. And he would play with his left hand, whatever he, way he'd move, I'd move the same way. So that's how he taught me how to play the harmonica. But we like to feature Jimmy on a beautiful, beautiful song called Masquerade. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy! Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Uh, Chris wrote it there. <laughs>
<laughs> Any country music fans? Here's the national anthem of country music called Rocky Top. Celebrating tonight oh, his yeah. 25th payment on that harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two more payments. Two more payments, and it's his right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Here's a great old uh, favorite. Who did this one? Yeah. Artie Shaw played it like something like we were gonna play it. He copied it off of us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything looks red to me out there. Oh. I will now take this balloon, put it over a couple of the lower notes on this harmonica. I can just feel the thrill go through you. Know? Gets a little bit more interesting than that, I hope. I'm going to play a song on the other side of the same harmonica at the same time. alcohol test one. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> play special unusual harmonicas. We're unusual, goofy, because that's the kind of guys we are. Special harmonica made by the Homer Company. Very old harmonica. They don't, I think they still have this. I'm not sure, but it's a great harmonica. You are looking at an antique. <laughs> no, no harmonica, sir. How'd you like to hear a nice Irish number? Eric, yeah. Hey, why not, man? 473-269-3728. You should be giving out those numbers like that. There's a great one called My Wild Irish Rose. No did this one, I think, and the Harmonic Cats uh, played it. It was sort of a big hit for all those guys. Night Train.
Oh, thanks. We have uh, a good time up here, and uh, we've worked hard on this almost three hours this afternoon, right? <laughs> oh, no, it was two and a half. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to do another country tune for you, and this is one that's called You Are My Sunshine, and it's just a, just a tad different. <laughs>
take a train, I might take a plane, but if I have to walk, I'm going to get that just to save my daughter. Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there. I'm going to get me one. They got some crazy little women there. And I'm going to get me one.
ball and chain. Grand ball and chain. Grand ball and chain. Grand ball and chain. Another man done gone, another man done gone. Count it five. Everybody liked it, it was called The Taste of Honey. Yes, I love that.
through our music, you know, we thought, oh, here's, a, here's a song that nobody does. You got your harmonette over there? Yeah. We thought, well, you know, what a difference a day makes. And Pete says, wait a minute, I'm going to do the harmonette on that. So Pete plays harmonette too. So here we go. You ready? I'm on a medication. Ever have a medication that makes your mouth dry? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. So we play back home. We play for a lot of senior citizens. You know, and one thing they like, they like waltzes. So we got a Polish waltz. A Polish waltz. And you know what it is? The name of it is about that long. And I can't pronounce it. So I just call it the Polish waltz. And when we're in a German club, what happens? Yep. We call it German. Can I say one thing? Yeah, I'm getting older. You know why? I had a birthday last week. My friend brought over this beautiful, sexy girl. And she said, we're going to have some super sex. So I had the soup. <laughs> okay.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay, another one we worked on, we came across an arrangement by a guy by the name of Bob Treefelder, and it was called Laura. So we said, hey. That